Hello everybody, my name is Corey, this is Whole Views, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on One Punch Man Season 1. So, first up, what I need to get out of the way is the clickbait nature of my thumbnail. Most people see Dragon Ball Z or they see One Punch Man in the same thumbnail, like that's an instant click for a lot of people. But, the reason why I put One Punch Man next to DBZ here in, in this thumbnail is because for me, I have no anime point of reference besides Dragon Ball Z. I've never watched any anime besides Dragon Ball. Now, I loved it growing up. I watched the whole Dragon Ball franchise, the Dragon Ball Z sagas. Um, I think I kind of fell off once uh, the Cell, no, 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 I think I saw the Boo saga, and once that ended, I was kind of done with them. But recently with animated movies and things like that, I've gotten back into watching anime, and I had a friend of mine who was really, really pushing One Punch Man. So I watched season one, and I have to say, I'm super impressed. I laughed so hard throughout this thing. I know that Saitama, the main character of the show, is basically a Goku archetype. He's oblivious to things that's going on around him. He has no idea how strong he is. He doesn't take life or death moments very seriously at all. And he's always looking for a good fight. To me, when I see Saitama, I see Goku. One of the things that really stood out to me as uh, Saitama being a real, real strong version of Goku is, is just this line in the like the final episode of season one. Uh, this big boss from outer space is here fighting and giving his all. And he's he's got this long thing where he goes on talking about his full power. And Saitama replies with something like, yeah, you're tough. Cool. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's that's Goku. Like, I can remember watching so many Dragon Ball episodes where Goku would respond to, like, an attack with, Oh, you're really strong, huh? This is gonna be a good fight. It's like, like, yep, yep, this is Saitama Goku to me. Even characters, caricatures of each other, like, they are really, really good versions of one another. The main thing that stood out to me about One Punch Man and that made me really, really, really enjoy the show is that it was so funny. There were so many moments that, again, Saitama was just oblivious, oblivious. He had no idea what was going on, and he answered so earnestly and honestly about everything that's happening. You couldn't help but laugh. Very early on, after Genos is like decided to become his disciple, he says a line, something along the lines of, uh, "This scientist, he's found you, master, and he's interested in your body." And Saitama, without blinking, without like perfect delivery he says well that's unfortunate because i'm not into guys what like like that's a that's a real slick like sexual innuendo type joke but he didn't get it and you know he didn't realize he's talking about your physical strength like nah i thought he was interested in my body and i don't like guys so that's it i'm like man this dude is this dude is stupid he don't know what's going on Another thing that's this long running gag that you see throughout the season and it's visited in the beginning and then again on the back half of the show is that you have these villains and, and also other heroes with long drawn out move names like Angel Smash and he's jumping and he's punching like this Lion Man looking thing with the claws and he's swiping the claws and he got this name for this big attack inside of us, inside of our One Punch Man. He says, consecutive normal punches. <laughs> I'm like, dog. Like, everybody else has this big, long, drawn out attack. And he's like, oh, you want to get serious? Okay. Super serious. <laughs> he, like, <laughs> he says, super serious. Super serious punches. And he just does this goofy looking punch and he knocks the guy into a bloody mess. It's crazy. I love that part of the show because it's so over the top that it's comical. Like one goofy looking punch from this man can rip a person's torso in half, just explode a person. That was crazy to see on, on you know, on film. The name of that, of that punch is just like, oh, consecutive normal punches. That's all I'm doing here and he's exploding people. I I don't know, it was just a hell of a, hell of a thing to see. <sighs> That's another part of the show that I really, really dug a lot is that with Dragon Ball Z, going back and trying to watch that is kind of difficult because with Dragon Ball, there's so much filler. There's so much of the show that is just 
talking or just yelling people just powering up just sitting there glowing and um with one punch man you don't have that like within the first five minutes of the show i knew that i would be locked in and ready to watch it um because you saw the villain who showed up and did some destruction and he like morphed into this huge villainous muscular horrible version of himself and he was ready to go full form you know what i mean final form he was ready to fight within 30 seconds i was like that's gratifying we don't have to watch this for three episodes to see him transform into the final phase and you're not gonna see him sitting there screaming at the screen for 15 minutes like on dragon ball it's freezer level fights pretty much every episode on one punch man and saitama just deals with them one punch most of the time a lot of the time he's just dodging stuff and then hit him with that one hitter it's awesome it was a funny it was a funny series now i will say this to a person who has no point of reference about this video you like you follow my page and you see dragon ball z you see one punch man and you like what is core trying to promote i'm not trying to promote anything to you if you're the type of person where you have no idea what dragon ball is definitely don't watch one punch man like that would be way too much to jump into i feel like at one point i feel like i'm kind of initiated because i've seen dragon ball and i know what anime is but if you don't know anime and you've never seen dragon ball i don't know if one punch man is for you uh if you like this video please subscribe to this page if you like this video please leave a like on it uh please share it if you're watching on facebook if you're watching on youtube please subscribe leave a like and a comment I deeply, deeply appreciate it. Uh, I will be watching One Punch Man season two, so be on the lookout for that review and that talk about that uh, season of the show coming soon. So enjoy yourself, guard your heart, and thank you for stopping by.